Shogun Episode 8 ends with the reveal of what is behind Lord Toranaga's surrender following the gruesome and emotional death of Tota Hiramatsu. While some of Toranaga's allies, including Yabushaij, believed that their lord was going to eventually give up his decision to surrender, this did not happen. During the meeting in which Toranaga's daimyos and samurais were supposed to confirm their surrender to, Hiramatsu opposed his lord and committed seppuku. Tota Hiramatsu's shocking death was very tragic, yet it was secretly part of a plan he and Lord Toranaga came up with. Why Tota Hiramatsu committed seppuku? At first, it seemed like Tota Hiramatsu had committed seppuku because he refused to follow Lord Toranaga and to defeat now that the Lord of Kanto was about to surrender. Hiramatsu, arguing in favor of other daimyos who refused to join Toranaga in his surrender, stated that they should not submit themselves to Ishido. There was a heated argument between Hiramatsu and Toranaga, who had been friends since the latter was a child. By refusing to follow a direct order from his lord, Tota Hiramatsu would have no choice but to commit seppuku. Tota Buntero, Hiramatsu's son, participated in the seppuku ritual and even asked to join his father in death. However, no one in the room knew the true reason behind Hiramatsu's seppuku. Lord Toranaga's best friend was not in a disagreement with his lord, and it was all part of an act to make Ishido believe that Toranaga was willing to surrender no matter what. Hiramatsu's sacrifice meant that no one would question the truthfulness of Lord Toranaga's surrender. Lord Toranaga's plan explained what his surrender really means. Shogun Episode 8 confirms that Lord Toranaga never truly intended to surrender, and that it has all been part of a complex ploy to lower Ishido's guard. Toranaga wants to protect the air and avoid a war that would break Japan into pieces, but the only way to do so is by defeating Ishido with the least amount of bloodshed possible. Refusing to surrender in Ajiro would have led to an immediate war between Toranaga's forces and those loyal to the council. This is why Toranaga has been playing the long game and might have even anticipated his brother's betrayal. However, for Toranaga's plan to work, Ishido would have to believe that his enemy was going to peacefully surrender. The Lord of Kanto is known for his complex strategy and elaborated ploys, which is why his defeat needed to look as convincing as possible. Toranaga spent most of the trip between Ajiro and Ido showing signs of illness, and even missed his son's funeral. Tota Hiramatsu's seppuku was the most drastic part of the plan, and sent a clear message that Lord Toranaga would surrender. This gives Yoshii the freedom to secretly counterattack. What is Toranaga's mission for Lady Mariko? Lord Toranaga's actual battle plan remains unknown, but there are some hints regarding what his next moves will be. Yashii's strategy involves Lady Mariko, who has been summoned by her lord and was told the truth about Hiramatsu's sacrifice. Assuming Mariko is the only other person in the realm who knows about Toranaga's secret plan, her role in what is to come must be very significant. Toranaga will give Lady Mariko a very important mission on which the fate of Japan might lie. Mariko appears to be ready to do whatever it takes to help Toranaga win the war. Why John Blackthorne didn't reunite with his men John Blackthorne has been trying to reunite with his crew since the beginning of the show when most of the men aboard the foreign ship were made prisoners. All of Blackthorne's attempts at reuniting with his men had failed, even after he became Lord Toranaga's Hatamoto. Following Toranaga's apparent surrender, the engine was finally given the chance to see his crew again. However, it took only a brief interaction with one of them for Blackthorne to realize that they did not want to reunite with their captain. Blackthorne's men blame him for what happened. After a fight with one of his crew members, Blackthorne went away without even talking to the rest of them. This led the engine, now a captain without a crew, to go to Yabushige in search of a new banner for him to sail under. How Blackthorne's alliance with Yabushige factors in Toranaga's plan. Blackthorne offered his services to Yabushige, hoping the Lord of Iza would allow him to sail under his banner. While Yabushige would have liked to have a foreign ship with guns and a trained pilot under his command, he believed that Toranaga could still win the war and refused to betray his master. However, once Hiramatsu committed seppuku, Yabushige concluded that Toranaga was not lying about his surrender. This was all part of Toranaga's larger plan, though, as he wanted Yabushige to eventually accept the engine's offer. At the end of episode 8, when Yabushige and Blackthorn were already aboard the Englishman's ship, Lady Mariko arrived with a message from Toranaga. Whatever Toranaga's battle plan is, it involves John Blackthorn and his ship. Nagakato and Hiramatsu's deaths mean Toranaga won't accept defeat. Episode 8 Seconds Final Moment See Lord Toranaga finally mourning the death of his son, which was only able to do after pretending to be a defeated old man on the verge of death. 
Toranaga pretended to be sick and missed his son's funeral to add to the perception he was going to surrender as soon as they arrived in Osaka. Nagakato's death bought Toranaga some time, though allowing him to make his act even more convincing during his time in Edo. Between Nagakato's accidental death and Toranaga's sacrifice, Toranaga cannot afford to be defeated after so many losses.